everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quick lesson on uh, Drive by Incubus. So a great song, a uh, couple parts. So um, it's a kind of a, a beginner song, kind of intermediate maybe just because of the chords that are used. So uh, we're going to walk through that. I'm going to inch in a little closer and I'm going to show you what we do here. So I do play it a little bit different than what I think pretty much the rest of the world does it. So I'm going to walk you through what I do. Uh, it starts off on this E shape here. So we have this open E and then we're on the E. We're going to put our finger down here. We're going to skip the G string and we're going to go to the B string right here. So we're going to try to let all of those ring open. So that's the first chord. Uh, what I like to do is with all of this, play the root note first and I kind of give it a little accent. So um, it's a one, two strum, right? Uh, and then I move up to this D. So this is where I play it different. Everybody else sort of plays this chord, uh, or they do this guy here. And uh, then to this C, so, and then to this A. So um, I do this D. I think it sounds better. I hear the whole overall tone and harmony of the song walking that way when I hear it. It's all kind of pushing back to this. I don't hear the two E's in a row. So, so everybody else does that to the back to this other E. I just don't hear that personally. So I've just um, chosen to do it that way and, and it sounds great. So. Um, it's easier for me as well to get to the C. So all I have to do is slide up and drop these two guys down here. And then I'm on that funky C shape that he makes here. And then to get to that A, my two fingers are already there. I just pick these guys up and drop it here. And so I play always the root note first. So I'm going to walk you through that. That is the chorus and the verse. So uh, what I do to distinguish the chorus from the verse, when the vocal comes in, I kind of palm mute and accent. I play it exactly the same. I'm just giving it a little palm mute accent over here. I'm gonna try to get my right hand in there. There, uh, we're going to go into a breakdown, which comes right between the verse and the chorus. So um, we're in that A. We're just going to drop back to that C. And so it's to an A major. And that walks right into the chorus. back to the verse. Again, this is just a little bit different than what, you know, I've seen out there. This is how I've always done it. I think it sounds really good. In my opinion, um, if it sounds good, it makes you comfortable. It makes you feel like you're doing it right. It gives you that confidence. Do it. So um, I've learned uh, just watching a lot of artists, they'll play things different at different shows, different ways um, than they do like maybe in the music video or the recorded version. When they get up there live, they play it a little differently uh, almost every time. So uh, nothing's robotic. It's all about the feel and overall tone of a song. So um, it's always been my opinion that if it works and it sounds good, roll with it. You're not wrong. There's no wrong way to do really anything. So to speak, right? You don't want to hit the wrong notes. Obviously, that's going to be the wrong way. But when it comes down to just, you know, the the uh, basic flow and feel of the song, 
if you capture that essence, you've captured the song, right? That's what you don't want to change. Um, so when people take songs, and that's why certain covers and certain things just really flat out suck, because they're changing the feel and the mood of the song that everybody has fallen in love with, which is why they like it. So um, find that ebb and flow, find the tone, find what you're comfortable with, and just keep it that way. Uh, and then, yeah, don't worry about what, you know, or how everybody else is saying to do it. So this is a great song. And thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.